I would like you to meet Mrs. Smith. She's a teacher who's a firm believer in the old school cool, where the pen is mightier and the notebooks are endless. But what if we could turn her mountain of papers into a molehill? Here it is. Introducing Kami, a PDF editor, where old school charm meets new school smart. You can say goodbye to the paper cuts and say hello to smooth clicks. With Kami, Mrs. Smith can annotate, highlight, and give feedback faster than she can say timeout. And for your lovely students, it's not just about doodling in the margins anymore. With Kami, every margin is a canvas and every comment could become a masterpiece. So to all the Mrs. and Mr. Smiths out there, it's time to swap your ink parts for pixels and embrace the smart Kami way. Stay tuned to explore the world of Kami PDF Editor, where teaching is breezy, learning is easy, and the only thing heavy is the laughter that you will get. Over the last few days, I have received many requests from teachers and administrators who want to know how to use this application called Kami. Kami is a PDF editor. It's like a Swiss Army knife for teachers. You can cut, cross, annotate, highlight, or delete text and images on almost any PDF document. And today, I will quickly go over some of these features and show you where to find them in Kami. So come along. Here we have logged into your Google account. And if your tech admin has already installed Kami on your computers, you will click on this waffle sign at the top right. And somewhere here, if you scroll down, you will see the K for Kami. This is the icon for Kami if it is already installed. If it's not installed, then all you need to do is you will go to the search bar in your browser and look for Kami for Chrome extension. And when you look for Kami for Chrome extension, this should be the first thing here. Since I have already installed Kami extension for my account, I'm only seeing here remove from Chrome. In your case, you see here in this blue button, you'll see add to Chrome Kami. So you will add to, to Chrome and Kami will be installed. And then you should be able to see in that drop down that I just shown you at the beginning. So the only thing I would request that make sure that you're logging in with your school account and not your personal account when you're adding Kami extension to your Chrome browser. And once you have installed Kami, Kami would be in your Google Classroom. So there are two ways that you can work with Kami. The first is you come to Google Classroom and you go to Classwork. And when you create a new assignment, along with all the other options to create assignments and quizzes, you will also see here, create a Kami assignment. Hit on Kami assignment. And here you can start creating assignment just like any other Google Classroom assignment. So call it a test assignment. And here instructions, if you want to give, fill in the attached Kami PDF worksheet that here and then you can give it a due date here let's call it a due date of the 29th of september and let's call it eight o'clock in the morning we'll call it eight o'clock in the morning here so we have here all these options that uh, you are adding to kami so it is giving you the options uh, you can add media here you can add videos here you can add google drive attachments you can also you can also attach google images you can also attach youtube videos all these options you can check or uncheck any of these and let's say click Okay, so you have all these options. And here you have multiple options. You can pick up an existing PDF document from your drive. So let's call it PDF from your drive. Uh, search for any PDF. Let's imagine if this is a document that I'm um, working, let's call this, this I will select this document. I've attached this as a document here. And uh, if I want to any other file or link, I can do that. Or I can go to Kami library and search for any of the existing 
templates and assignments that there are what they call the feature templates, which are already there on Kami for you. So let's call it English language arts. These are some of the worksheets, PDF worksheets that are already there. So let's pick up any one. Let's call this uh, Cornell Notes. Call this Open with Kami. I've attached this one also. In both of these options, if you look at that, because I'm creating this new assignment, this time I'm getting this option, make a copy for each student. This is highly recommended. If you look at the other options, students share one copy and students cannot edit file. You can choose any of these options. I would recommend to create one copy for each student individually, and then you can assign this. So this is an assignment that has been assigned to students. Okay, assignment has been created, and you can open the assignment in Google Classroom, and the assignment is already there. Let's say now, if I want to open this document here, I want to, let's say I'm a student, and I want to work in with this attachment. So I will click on this attachment. I'll say open with Kami. And now this will open the Kami dashboard. It has all these options on the left side. If there is text on this document, this you this will by clicking on this for some of those students who like it to be read aloud they can click on this play button and it will read any text that is on this page it should be playing whatever text is on on this document these are some of the tools they can use they can use the highlighters and for example let's say this is a highlighter and you want to highlight this part and you can highlight this just like a brush you can highlight this or a highlighter you can highlight any of these parts you can do that and you can change the colors of highlights. If you want to change to a, to a different color, you can highlight with a different color. You can also leave a comment here. Let's say I want to leave a comment here. This is where I need more detail from here. The students can also leave comments here and the teachers can also leave comments here. And there are multiple ways of leaving comments here. You can leave a, a voice comment. When you click on that, if you're doing it for the first time, it will ask you to allow for the first time if you want to record so now you can start recording so whatever i'm saying now has started recording and when you're done recording your comment excellent tool audio feedback tool from the teachers if your students want audio feedback from you instead of written text so very helpful so once you're done leaving your comment here hit, hit stop and now the students can play back you can also leave a video comment here so when you click on video comment you click wherever you want the video comment this is where this is where now, if you look at that, this has started showing you my image, my video image. And once you're done with that image, video feedback or video image, hit done, and this will be added. And you can also play it back just like that. You know, this feedback is playing in the form of video. You can also do screen captures here. This was all about leaving comments. But if you ask students to add text to this document, so they can add text here. So let's say they can add text here uh, in terms of notes. This is where my notes will go add their comments or add their uh, replies responses all that they can leave here and in this case you can also change the font size here let's say if you wanted to make it bigger you can make it bigger at the top here this is the toolbar where you can make all the changes you can change you can make it bold you can italicize it so this is for mostly for students if they or if you want to add text to a black sheet like uh, help instructions or if you want to give them detailed instructions on how to complete this assignment, it can go here. In this part, you have all these mathematical symbols that you can add. Mathematical symbols will go um, here and the equation. You have all these options. And likewise, you can move them wherever you want. You can move them here or wherever you want. You can take it over there. So the equations will go here. If you want a freehand drawing, that can come over here. These are new tools, very helpful. So you have a ruler. If you click on ruler here, the ruler will show up here, and this can serve as, as a helpful guide. If there is, if it's in a mathematical assignment, uh, it can it can go here. It can also show you a protractor. If you want to use a protractor as, as a, as a tool, they can use this and and uh, also complete their assignment using a protractor like this one. This is also new. They have recently added the uh, the protector tool here. And here, if you want to, let's say, create a circle here, you can create a circle with any color you want. Let's say here, uh, you want a green one, and you uh, extend this arm or leg of the protector. And now when you click on pencil, turn it around, and now you can have an external circle. So you can have all these tools are there. You can also add shapes if you want to 
to add a box here, you can add a box. If you want to try and change the color of the box, if you want to add a circle here, you can do the circle or make an eclipse. Whatever you want, you can do this. And within this, you can also add, if you want to add a text box here in the middle of a circle or in the middle of a box, um, all of these you can do. And finally, if you want to erase any of these things that you want to remove, you can use this eraser tool. And uh, very recently, they've also added all these options to add media. You can add your own camera here. So you can record videos. You can take a quick photo and add that also to uh, a page here. Let me take this, take a quick photo here. And you added that, that photo. That photo is now here. You can add that over here. Go resize the picture. Under media, you can also add Google Drive files. You can pick up any Google Drive file and add that from here. And you can also add Google Images Search. Yeah, let's say I want to add a duck here. So I'm going to click on a duck image and I can insert that image over here. Again, I can resize that image too and move it wherever you want. And then finally, I can also add YouTube videos. So let's say if I want to add this, so I'm going to take this, copy this link, go back to my Kami assignment, add media, YouTube, and here I have the YouTube and I'm going to insert that video. That video will be inserted wherever I want to put it. Quite a few options, as you see here, to work with PDF documents, especially helpful for those who they call themselves the old school. This was all about Kami and how to work with Kami. Now, you've seen that this is especially helpful for those teachers who call themselves old school or still want to work with print-like digital documents. Kami can help them even in the digital environment with the tools that their students have, like Chromebooks, iPads, or any other laptop. They can still work with print-like documents and write on them, and type on them, draw on them. Although the modern digital documents like Google Documents does not require a PDF editor like this one, but still it has its own place. And especially if you are in an adult working environment as an administrator, if you want to sign off on certain, sign off digitally, electronically on some forms or on some documents, a Kami PDF doc still helps with even signing off like you're signing on a piece of paper. So for now, uh, this was all about Kami. I'll see you in another video very soon. Until then, bye-bye.